Hey everyone, this is Zach Tick and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial video. So today I'm going to show you three different ways to create highlights in Photoshop. Now this was the most requested video on Instagram and many of you guys were curious that how I make those highlights just using a mouse. So in today's video, we are going to find out how. So without any further ado, let's get going. I open Photoshop and as you can see I already have my subject and the background and I kind of blend everything together. Now before we start adding highlights you have to understand few important things. Number one you have to find the light source from which direction the light is reflecting and according to that you have to paint the highlights on your subject. Number two is the intensity of the light. Whether the light is too bright or too dark, based upon that, you have to paint the highlights on your subject. And finally, it's the surface of the subject. The highlight will react differently based on the surface you are painting. So I'm gonna show you some example on the screen so you will get the basic idea what you have to do. So these are few parts which you have to consider before you start painting highlights. So we are done with that. Now let's start painting. So the first technique we are going to use is the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Now this technique is used by many artists, it is very common and also very easy to use. So to do that, first you have to open the hue and saturation adjustment layer and after that click on the clipping mask so that it only affects our subject. And then click on the colorize box, this is going to color our subject and after that increase the lightness a little bit around 40, 42, then uh, change the hue color. In my case, it's yellow, so I'm going to choose that. You can choose whatever color you like and then increase the saturation a little bit. Now, once you are done with the effect, you have to click on the mask and press Ctrl plus I. Now, what it is going to do, it is going to invert our effect and then we can choose a soft round brush and we can paint on our subject. So in mask, uh, remember black hides and white shows. So we are going to choose white to paint the highlight and black to hide the highlight. You can press X to toggle between the foreground and the background color. I usually keep the opacity below 15 and decrease the flow. You can just play with these values and adjust according to your likings. Now once you are done with that, just paint slowly on the edges. I am going to fast forward this process. You can increase the opacity if it is very low for you and also you can make the round brush a little flatter by dragging this a little upward. I basically use this technique to paint inside our subject. Now we are done with the painting part. Now you can also blend this highlight by using the blend if option. So to open that just double click on the right side of your layer to open the panel. And here you can see there is an underlying layer. Now what you have to do just drag this from left to right and press alt to detach it. Now this is going to make the effect a little smoother. So you can just play with these bars and we are done. Now the second technique is by using the curves adjustment layer. Now I know it is very complicated for beginners because there are a lot of values and you have no idea what you have to do. So don't worry if you need a detailed video on curves, I'll recommend you to watch the Pixin Perfects video. I will mention the link on the i button or on the description you can go and check it out. 
in my case i just have to make this a little brighter so i'm going to drag this point a bit upwards now remember to add colors in curves basically you have to adjust the rgb channels now rgb channels are the red green and blue channels and opposite of rgb channel it's cmy which is cyan magenta and yellow in my case i need yellow color so i'm going to choose the blue channel and drag this point a bit downward so it is going to change the color to yellow if you drag this a bit upward it is going to change the color to blue now just like this you have to play with the rgb channels to get the favorite color again it is very difficult for you to understand so you just need a little practice and you'll get the idea what you have to do now once you are done with the effect now the next procedure is very simple you just have to choose the mask invert it and then start painting with the soft round brush or any brush you like You can also play and experiment with the blend modes and just see which blend mode is going with your highlights. I especially use screen and overlay sometimes. Which one suits you the best, you can just choose it. Now it's time for the third method and I use this method in all of my artworks and the method is the blend if option. Now to do that just double click on the right side of your subject layer. This is going to open the blend if panel and here just choose bevel and emboss. Now what this effect is going to do it is going to create a small rim light around the edges of your subject. Here you can just play with the options, play with the depth. I usually keep it a bit on the lower side and i choose the size around one or two and you can also change the direction uh, from which direction the light is reflecting according to that you can just move this direction and down here you can just choose which color you need in my case it is yellow so i'm going to choose that once you are done with this effect press ok now as you can see there are few places where I don't need this highlight but how I can remove it there is no option of masking so it's very simple just right click on this effect logo and choose create layer now what is going to do it is going to create a separate layer of the blend if effect and after that just click on the mask and then just start painting. So these were the technique which I used to create highlights in my artwork. I used this multiple times so you can also just experiment with this method and please let me know if you find this video helpful. So that's all for today guys. I hope you liked this video and if you did make sure to like and subscribe this channel. Till then I will see you in the next video. Bye.